Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and if you've ever worked with complicated queries and wanted to reuse them, then you're going to want to watch this video as you learn how to create a view. Hey, if you like our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. All right, let's get started here. I'm going to show you a complicated query that I wrote that summarizes customer orders from the pizza database. And what it's doing here is going through and pulling in all the order items like the pizzas that and sodas that people have bought, applying coupons, and essentially tallying up the order price to discount amount and the final order price. And we may want to use this information later on in some analysis and even, you know, um, join into this information from other tables. So it could become core to a lot of work we want to do down the road with reporting or business intelligence. So I could see ourselves reusing these um, this query and these joints quite a bit. But I don't think I want to have to repeat this because if something changes in the structure, then having to go in and rechange all this could be a hassle. So what can I do to change this? Well. I can write a view. And to give you an appreciation of why I want to do this, I want to show you the database structure. So let me show you the database structure here real quick. So what we're up against here is trying to pull together data from a collection of five some tables, starting with customer order, and then customer, the coupon, the product, and the order item, and summarizing that data. And having to repeat all these joints over time, well, A, you know, introduce a lot of opportunity for errors, and B, you know, it's a lot, it's kind of boring to have to keep retyping it. And then if, if I ever change the structure of my database, I'm gonna have to then go and hunt down every time I had put these joints together, figure that out, and rechange those queries to accommodate the new table structure. So let's create a view that can wrap all this query intelligence into one one construct or database object that we can reuse. So to do this, what I can do is take my query that I have and just quite simply put create view in front of it and then give my view a name. So here I'm going to call it customer order summary and then say as and then I have my query name. And when I hit run It'll come back successful and now I created a view so let's try using it and to do that I can just say select star from customer order summary let me highlight just this part and run it and now you can see that instead of having to go through and do all these joins to get my result I can just simply now query my view which is kind of like a pre-canned query and it will now automatically run all those joints for me and get my result so that's pretty cool that's how you can create the view so one last thing before you leave what I want to show you is how you can do this in both MySQL and Postgres so it's surprisingly the same so in MySQL or in, I'm sorry in SQL server it's create view customer order summary as Postgres, create view, customer summary as, get rid of the one because I was playing around with different names, and the same thing with MySQL. One thing I want to point out is that where you will find differences is in the select statement. So here I had used a is null command. What you'll find in uh, MySQL, is null has a different meaning. And so I use the coalesce statement instead. And so it'll, if per percent discount is null, it'll bring in a zero instead. We're here is null if percent discount is uh, zero or is null, it brings in a zero. So it does the same thing, it's just different function name. And that's the thing you usually battle with when you're working with the different uh, database management systems. So now you've seen how you can create a view using SQL Server, Postgres, MySQL. You've seen that it's not that hard. There are other options you can use to create a view. I just wanted to show you how you can 
do it the quick and dirty way, get the low hanging fruit, that there's no mystery to it. I hope you liked this video. Um, please subscribe so you can get more of my videos. I do go into deeper topics at times. And um, please uh, share my site with others. I really appreciate it and have a good day.